Let's keep going. This is good. Um, in my time of, okay, understood. So in my time of dealing with these particular spirits, I have encountered them bringing many problems into people's marriages, problems bearing children, problems having intimacy with God, because through them, it hardens the heart. I have encountered so many things. And I believe that God wants to deliver many all over the nation, all over America, from sexual sin. In pulpits, churches, because leadership doesn't exempt you. It doesn't exempt us from these struggles. And God is, is refining, he's purifying, and he's bringing deliverance. But in order to do that, he first must expose the work of this particular spirit. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to lift your hands right where you are. I want you to lift your hands. And I want you to say this prayer. I want you to say this prayer with me. And God is going to bring such freedom. Now, I told you with deliverance, um, tonight I don't have time to lay hands on you. I don't have time. And so I want you to receive your deliverance by faith. Now, some of you, the deliverance will be for you, but sometimes you're also going to be standing in the gap for your family, for your generations, for your children, for your grandchildren, even for unborn generations, you can stand in the gap. And so I want you to repeat after me. Say, Father, it's in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the children's bread. I thank you for your power to deliver. Right now in the name of Jesus. I come to you asking for deliverance. I ask you to deliver my family. And I stand in the gap now for my generations. Right now, Lord, I repent for all sexual immorality in my life and in my generations. Lord, every open door that has been open to sexual spirits through my generations, today, Lord, I renounce every evil covenant with the spirit spouse. I renounce every evil covenant that has been made in my dreams. I renounce every evil covenant that has been made through eating food, whether in the dreams or in the natural. Right now, in Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus, I ask you to set me free from any spirits that entered my life or my family line through rape, through molestation, or any other act. Lord, I come out of agreement with the enemy and with the kingdom of Satan in any way in Jesus' name. So, Lord, let your blood set me free from every power that comes from the realm of Satan. I receive my deliverance in Jesus' name. So, Lord, I thank you for mighty deliverance. I thank you for delivering your people. I thank you, Lord, that even as they leave, as they sleep tonight, God, that they'll have dreams and visitations of deliverance, that they'll experience freedom, that chains will be broken, God, that curses will be reversed, and that the evil powers that have been operating against them in the night, that the power of God would remove and extract them from their life in Jesus' name. Lord, we declare the authority of your resurrection over your people, and we release the reality of your blood. So, Lord, let your people walk in total freedom 
of the enemy. And I ask you to continue to pour revelation pertaining to this realm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.